Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to show you how you can add a uh, visual illusion of spacing in between these divs down here, these uh, four boxes. So I thought I was done with the Apple 5 flexible boxes video and, and I was just kind of fine tuning a couple things before publishing it up to the web. And I see on Apple's that you can just barely see in these thin white borders that kind of separate and it does look pretty good. And then I realized, of course, I didn't do that on ours. So I want to take care of that. Now your first instinct might just be, well, no big deal. Just put some margin on those divs and that'll separate them. But that actually, that's going to make your life a little bit more difficult because if you add margin on these divs, they're going to, the whole thing is going to be much wider, which means it's not going to fit as nicely underneath our space. As it stands right now, each of these four promo box divs are 25% wide. So everything is fitting quite nicely. So I'm going to show you another way to get that little border effect. So what I want you to do is go to these individual promo boxes and I'm going to put an empty div right inside of them. Of course, later on, you know, when you're developing a site like this, these divs might contain your text and stuff like that. But I'm going to do the div within the div here. And I'm going to create a new rule for these. Promo box div. So a div that's a descendant of a promo box. All right. And the width, of course, is already naturally going to be 100%, so no problem there. But the height I'll set to 200 pixels. Okay, take care of that. I'm also going to put a, um, a border on the div. So just so we're clear on what's happening, I'm not putting a border on the promo box. I'm putting a border on a box that's inside of the promo box. Make sense? A box inside of the promo box. And the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want to mess with the very nice 25% width of the promo box. By working on the inside, I'll take care of that without any issue. Um, instead of doing a border shorthand property, I'm going to be a little bit more specific. I'm going to do a little bit of border color of white and I'll do a border size, uh, I don't know, it's not a very thick border. How about just like two pixels? We can always trial and error that, see if it going to go smaller or bigger. So I'll do a border size of two pixels and that is good. Now let me go ahead and save this and show you what it's going to look like right now. If I refresh Oh, I forgot. I don't have border size. I'm sorry. Um, I want to do border size, but we need border style also. And let's just do solid. What am I missing here? Oh, sorry. It's border width. Haven't. Um, I'm so used to doing the shorthand properties, I've forgotten what the individual. Uh, <laughs> the individual properties were. So we have border color, white, border width, two pixels, border style, solid. And now we get our, our, our white little boxes there. So that's not too bad. However, right now I've got borders on all four sides, all four sides, all four sides. And I don't really want that. Um, I want to do a border along the top and the right, the top and the right, the top and the right, and then just the top. I don't want a border on the far right over here. I don't want a border on the far left. I don't need any borders on the bottom because I don't know if you're as um, OCD as I am. It's really obvious that the borders here in the middle are thicker than the borders on the top because we got two pixels on the top and then we got a double two and two or four in the middle. So let's go ahead and fix that. And I'm going to do that by taking border width out of this. So all of my interior divs are going to have white borders that are solid. Now, for my individual boxes though, this is where we can be a little bit more specific. I'm going to do PB1 div. And this is where I'll put in border width. I keep wanting to do border size. Border width, I'm going to do two pixels on the top, two pixels on the right, zero on the bottom, zero on the left takes care of that one. Refresh and now you got it. See just on the top, just on the right. The white on the bottom is just the bottom of the page there. Okay, and I can do something similar for these others. I'll just do a little bit of copy paste action. Of course we've got PB2, PB3, and PB4. 
And of course, the second one is going to be the same, top and the right. Third one's going to be the same, top and the right. And the last one, I don't want anything on the right. So it'll just be the top. So save that, refresh, there we go. If I size this out a little bit, everything is fitting in nicely. I know you can't see the right edge, so you're just going to have to trust me that it looks gorgeous. Uh, but otherwise, we have our nice little spacing in between each of these divs down here. But remember, it's not really spacing. It's the illusion of spacing. It's really a border on an individual div that's inside of these four promo boxes. So now we are a little bit more closely related to how Apple is doing that particular layout right there. Of course, I didn't do the footer, but I'm going to leave that task for you. So we need a footer on the page, and uh, then you have to start putting in all your great content. You need a horizontal navigation menu across the top and you got yourself a very nice five flexible boxes layout. See ya.